Morning, morning. I hear you're visiting the farm this morning. Today is the 27th of December. And we come to get some milk today off the farm for the children. So, what I wanted to discuss today is how to become a successful goat or sheep farm. As you can see, we have a lot of lovely kids around us here now and some of the mothers, you can see some of them nursing here in the background. And some of these kids, one of the things with these Nubian goats especially, they are very, very friendly, even these kids, very, very friendly. So, to be a successful goat farmer, housing is very, very important. Goats are very delicate and they suffer from internal parasites. So as you can see here, slatted floor is the best solution for them. When you have slatted floor, all the manure and the urine and everything drop through the floor and this helps in the sanitation. It's much easier to clean up the pen when you have slatted floor like this. Now, sanitation is so, so important because internal parasites affect both goat and sheep. It is a real, real problem with goat and sheep. I think that in, in the years of rearing goat and sheep, goats are more susceptible to parasites than sheep. Sheep tend to be more hardier than goats. Um, sheep also can manage rain and they'll stay out in the rain and feed in, in, the, in the pastures. Goats, no, they'll get sick. If you leave them out in the rain and the mud, they will get sick easily. They don't, they don't tolerate a lot of rain and mud and, and, and you know, cold weather. Now, proper nutrition is also very key. With goats, you have to make sure you feed them every day at the same time and make sure that they are always filled. Goats do not usually get sick or even parasites don't really affect them that much once you are feeding them properly making sure that they eat every day making sure that they are always full is very important if you stop feeding the animals maybe you didn't feed the animals for a day or so just not feeding them for one day or missing out on their feed can actually cause them to get sick or you know break down their immune system and parasite burdens and you know other sicknesses can, can attack the animals as you can see these kids are giving me a lot of trouble here they are all here especially this one i can bet he's a little ram let's look at him yep he's a ram giving me a lot of trouble today so nutrition is very important and clean water um we also to have to be successful in goat farming we have to make sure that you do vaccination vaccination is also very important because you know the tetanus is very real around us here in jamaica and a lot of animals are you know young kids and, they, and you know big goats sometimes your best animals get affected by tetanus and um so that's why the vaccination is so important for the animals usually you vaccinate four to six weeks you can also vaccinate the mother like six to four weeks before she have kids and it will protect the kid when in bond from the tetanus um these animals as you can see look very healthy these kids are very full and one of the things is that you have to give the mothers a little energy so we do feed our animals with a little bag feed and as you know we feed silage and we also feed fresh grass to our animals it is very important to inspect your animals on a daily basis you have to come inside the pen you hold the kids you look at them check their navel check their head just inspect their bodies make sure no cuts you know check the rear Put everything you have to check the animals check everything on them and you see how these animals are here playing with me and very active if you see an animal not active then you need to inspect that animal this animal I know he's good because he's giving me so much trouble today as you can see he wants to play with me 
So you know that this animal is in good condition. You look at his, his anus, his, you know, feel his body. Make sure no cuts, you know. And look at his ears. Wow. Nubian. You can see that this is a Nubian. If you put the ear right here, it's way past his head. Look at that. Yeah. This is going to be a very, very nice Nubian ram. Very nice boy. And he's the first time I'm meeting him and he's so friendly with me. So, the nutrition, inspection of the kids, make sure you vaccinate them. The navel is also something, you have to put some form of disinfectant on the navel when the kids just born and you follow it up because bacteria will go through the navel and infect the animals internal and the animals will die. So it's very important to, to treat the navel as soon as these kids are born. And you shouldn't have any problem once you pay attention to the animals. You know, along the way you're going to make mistakes as you go along and you will learn from these mistakes. And you are going to see a lot of different things happening on your farm. Goat rearing is not simple. There is a lot to learn. And you know, by experience, this is when you will learn the most, by experience. Experience really, really is the way to go. So that's why I recommend farmers, start small and think big. Smart, start with natives or graded animals and get to know the animals and then you can grow your farm and breed the type of animals that you want. And I also always recommend, when you just start with some native, start with a milking breed ram like a Nubian ram, a nice Nubian ram and then you know so that you can put some milk on the animals first then you can go to the boar or any other breed type that you like so I'm very happy to bring this to you I want all the new farmers to make sure you pay attention to the animals and take good care of them and make sure that they are always full Another thing that I didn't mention also is important is the is the minerals. It's very very good to add minerals to the to their diet, to the to the animals diet because you know like selenium, maybe calcium, certain of the minerals are not you know in the forages sometimes and if there is anything lacking in the forages, you can always provide it through free choice mineral. Um, you know, sometimes when you see in the wild, you'll see the, the, the goats, they climb on the rocks and they will, you know, be licking the salt off the rocks or licking the minerals. You see them actually in the wild, licking the minerals all the time off the different the stones and the rocks and so forth. This is exactly what you have to mimic when you are rearing these animals. So, you know, I always like to watch the animals out into the wild or watch the goats. And when I watch them, I watch what they like, what they like to eat, the different plants they like eating and what they don't like. And I try to mimic, it, mimic that on the farm and make sure I feed them just like that. Um, and as you know, goats like a lot of tree, tree forages. You have to always feed them the same time every day. Feed them and make sure that they get a balanced diet and a full belly. They must always eat till they are full. So when Whenever you are checking, you know the Comancha way of checking for worming. The internal parasites is really, really big problems with these animals. But I have found that when you are intensively farming the animals like this on slotted floor, worming is not a big problem. You almost very rarely that you worm the animals. And um, you know, another thing is that you have to pay attention to the animals. When you look and you see an animal, and they have certain defects like maybe an overbite or you know we had a female recently that had prolapse and she had a lovely kid but we didn't we are not going to keep that female kid it's a kid we are going to call her so calling is very very important because as you know prolapse is a her hereditary and certain other things are hereditary you have to you have to call animals you might have a female and she's not producing a lot of milk and if she's not producing a lot of milk then the kids or offspring maybe might not produce a lot of milk when they have kids also so you need to have animals that have enough milk to feed the kids 
So milk is very important also. And this, 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 this ram just seems to love me today. Yes. So you have to make sure that, you know, the mothers are producing enough milk. You have to make sure you look at the, the whole body structure, you know, proper legs, proper bite, you know. The feeding of the animals, Ma maternal instinct is also very important. The mothers must be, you know, not walking away and leave the kids and take good care of the kids. Like this ram, you know, his mother is taking good care of him. You know, look at how powerful he is. Another thing is when the kids are just born, you have to pay attention to these kids when they are just born. The mortality rate of both kids is very high if you don't pay attention to them. Sometimes these kids born very weak. They are very, sometimes they need help to put them on the mother's breast to get that first suck of milk. You have to help them maybe a day or two sometimes. For some of these kids, you have to help them because they will not survive in the beginning because they're born weak sometimes. So you have to pay attention. Sometimes you have to separate the kids, separate the mother and the kid. Sometimes, especially for a new mother, new mothers sometimes not knowing what to do, you have to help her and make her help her to adjust to the newborn birth and this new way of life for her. So you have to help her along the way in the beginning until she catch on to feeding and taking care of her young kid. So goats really require a lot of attention in the kidding process, right? And if you don't put in that attention, you will have a lot of mortality. And that is the problem because goats are delicate and the mortality rate can be very high if you don't pay attention to the kidding process and looking after these young ones. Usually when you wean them off at three months, to four months some people wean at two months but i usually wean at about three months usually at this weaning time it's a lot of stress for the kids and you know you have to give them special attention at this time make sure they have a lot of food that they love and take care of them and make sure at the three months you have already you have already um vaccinating the animals very important so Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate all the calls and all the comments that is coming from all the farmers and the public in general. Please continue to subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Who is the mother? Who is the mother of this kid? Eh? Which one? Show me the mother. Come show me the mother. Of this guy here. This is the mother of this guy.